Thanks, Brad. We'll check in with you in a little bit. Now, traffic continues to increase in deep east Texas, with many evacuating from Hurricane Laura's path. That's where we find KTRE's Jeremy Thomas live from tonight with the latest. Jeremy. Brianna, good evening. Aaron Widus and I are here live in the heart of the city of Jasper near the intersection of U.S. Highways 96 and 190, where traffic continues to flow in all directions. Now, to give you some more perspective on that flow of traffic, just to my right, you can head up 96 north going back towards Sabine County. Behind me to the east going into Newton County on State Highway 190 and 63. Just behind me as well going south back into Kirbyville. Buna, those areas into Hardin County as well into Silsby. And then if you continue to take 190 and 63 West, 190 will take you into Tyler County and 63 will also take you up to Angelina County. Now we do have an increased law enforcement presence here. You can actually see DPS troopers behind me getting a look at that traffic flow. And we have video to show you as well from earlier in today where that traffic flow was definitely heavier than what we're seeing right now. We have seen tractor trailers. We have seen all kinds of campers, ambulance units going toward the Gulf Coast at this point as well. And that's something that TxDOT spokesperson Rhonda Oaks says that we will see an increase of, especially along U.S. highways 96, 59 and 69. What we're seeing today is an evacuation coming up U.S. 69 south. Uh, US 59 and probably some on US 96. Those are our evacuation lanes through the Lufkin District. Uh, and so we are seeing heavier traffic this afternoon because of those evacuations. And we want everyone to just stay alert and slow down and, and uh, let those motorists get through here. And Oak says to remember to be patient as motorists continue to their destinations as well. And you can also head to KTRE.com to the big red box. We have included a link to the evacuation routes in your area. Live in Jasper, Jeremy Thomas, KTRE East Texas News 9. Jeremy, thank you.